Cyprus looks like it, and they're running, and all Jeff goes straight into the lead from Tewitt Castle and the Bakewell Boy and Russell. And Gay Brief, French Goblin, just the back marker with Winterhaven as they run down to the first of 12 flights this time. All Jeff, the French import, lands in the lead from Tewitt Castle and the Bakewell Boy. And pulling his way up there on the outside is Lingham Bride with Russell on the inner, Gay Brief, Miss Nero, and Royal Craftsman, Winterhaven, and French Goblin. All Jeff from Tewitt Castle and Bakewell Boy and Russell, Miss Nero and Gay Brief, quite closely grouped as they run down to the second flight, down towards Swinley Bottom. Old Jeff, Tewitt Castle, the Bakewell Boy, Gay Brief, Miss Nero and Russell, Lingham Bride, Royal Craftsman, and French Goblin. Begin to swing right-handed now. Old Jeff on the inside of Tewitt Castle and the Bakewell Boy, Russell and Miss Nero, then Lingham Bride on the outside, Gay Brief, and then Royal Craftsman, Winter Haven, and finally French Goblin, and all Bride, all Jeff rather, still making it from the Bakewell Boy and Tewitt Castle. Then Lingham Bride, Winter Haven, and Russell as they come to the third. Gay Brief is next. The Bakewell Boy going up on the outside. On the inside, all Jeff, Lingham Bride right up with them, then Tewitt Castle, then comes Winter Haven, Gay Brief and Russell and Royal Craftsman. French Goblins just uh, the back marker still. At the fourth, Lingham Bride, all Jeff on the inside, Tewitt Castle. And very closely grouped. They race towards the home turn on the first circuit. All Jeff from Tewitt Castle and the Bakewell Boy and Lingham Bride. Then comes Miss Nero and Russell and Gay Brief. Then Royal Craftsman, Winter Haven, and French Goblin. Now this will be the second last next time round. And that's all Jeff towards the left of the picture. Towards the far right of the picture is Lingham Bride. Between horses is Tewitt Castle and the Bakewell Boy. Just in behind them come Miss Nero and Russell and Gay Brief and Royal Craftsman and Winter Haven. And French Goblin still just the back marker. Coming to number six of the 12 flights in all. All Jeff, Tewitt Castle. The Bakewell Boy and Miss Nero and Russell and Gay Brief and then Lingham Bride. And behind them, Royal Craftsman, Winter Haven and finally French Goblin as they come past the winning post with another complete circuit. All Jeff, the leader, from Tewitt Castle and Russell and Miss Nero and the Bakewell Boy and Lingham Bride. Then closely packed are Winter Haven, Royal Craftsman and Gay Brief and finally French Goblin. As they begin the run downhill, still all Jeff, the Ote winner. From Tewitt Castle, Russell on the inside, the Bakewell Boy, Miss Nero. Behind Miss Nero is Lingham Bride, Royal Craftsman, then Gay Brief. Behind Grey Beef, Winter Haven, and then French Goblin. Number seven, all Jeff lands in the lead from Tewitt Castle, a good jump jump up on his outside, the Bakewell Boy and Miss Nero come next, then Russell, then Lingham Bride and Gay Brief and Royal Craftsman. French Goblin has just relegated Winter Haven to last place. All Jeff, Tewitt Castle, these two from Miss Nero, Russell, Gay Brief, Royal Craftsman, then the Bakewell Boy who's lost a place or two, French Goblin who's made a couple of places, Winter Haven and now Lingham Bride has dropped back last. That was the eighth flight. They're beginning to swing right-handed now with just over a mile to run and four to jump in this young man's long walk hurdle. And it's all Jeff being pressed by Miss Nero and Tewitt Castle. Gay Brief on the outside of Russell. French Goblin getting a lot closer now. And Lingham Bride has got a lot to do in rear. Now Miss Nero has taken it up. Miss Nero from all Jeff. Then Tewitt Castle, then Gay Brief in four, five is Russell, six Winter Haven, seven French Goblin. As they jump the fourth from home, Miss Nero lands in the lead from Tewitt Castle. Behind Tewitt Castle, on the inside is Old Jeff, then Gay Brief and Russell. 
and then French Goblin. As they run down to the third last, all Jeff on the inside from Tewitt Castle and Miss Nero. Then Gay Brief, who jumps into fourth just ahead of Russell. French Goblin is still making good progress, but it's all Jeff with the advantage from Tewitt Castle. Gay Brief going into third now, Russell four. Racing now towards the home turn. And Gay Brief, the old man of the party, coming to challenge. All Jeff with Tewitt Castle now third and Russell four coming down to the second last in this young man's long walk hurdle and 11 year old Gay Brief has just taken it up fractionally but French Goblin coming there strongly towards the near side. Gay Brief, Russell and French Goblin as they race now into the closing stages. Gay Brief in the centre. French Goblin towards the near side. Russell, the young horse, putting in a strong challenge over on the far side. This is the final flight. Gay Brief and Russell together. French Goblin on the near side. Russell is a baller there. He's unchipped his rider. And it's French Goblin beginning to get up as they race into the closing stages. French Goblin from Gay Brief. And French Goblin is going to win it at the line. French Goblin is the winner. And Gay Brief is second. And Tewitt Castle third. And four came Miss Nero. And behind Miss Nero was Winter Haven. Then all Jeff and the big wool boy, Royal Crafts and Lingham Bride. So there, happily, the rider of Russell, Michael Bowlby, gets to his feet after that last flight fall, and the winner of the Youngman's Long Walk Hurdle, number four, French Goblin, owned by Mr. Morris E. Pinto, trained by Josh Gifford and ridden by Peter Hobbs. Second was number two, Gay Brief, Owned by Sheikh Ali Abu Kamsin, trained by Mrs. Mercy Rymel, ridden by Dermot Brown, and third was number seven, Tewitt Castle, owned by Mr. J. H. Richardson, trained by Don Lee, and ridden by Jamie Osborne. Fourth was number five, Miss Nero. And here is the winner, French Goblin, the 